Welcome, fellow detectives, to my video cast. And an extra special welcome to those of you watching this on your iPods. Now, as you know, occasionally I receive phone calls from my clients, but also some of them choose to send in a letter, or as the case may be today, a parcel. Interesting. Let's see what the letter says, shall we? Dear Detective Fashion, that's me. Please, can you find someone to fix my fish as it is broken? I have looked in the yellow pages and I have googled fish repairs. There isn't even a wiki page. If anyone can find someone to fix my fish, then you can find him. Thank you, Detective Fashion. Yes, I think I know just the man who can help me. My old friend. Mr. Magoo. Ah, hello. Mr. Magoo lives above this Chinese restaurant. He's a very wise man and has played an important part in my education as a detective. In some cases, he could be considered a guru. I'm here as he can fix anything, even my fish. Ah, Mr. Magoo. Oh, hello, Mr. Fashion. Hello, sir. What brings you here today? Uh, I have something for you to be uh, repaired. Oh, a little fish. To repair? Yes. Great. I'll, I'll do that without any problem. Um, how's it going for you? Okay. Is the weather good? Yes. How's your mother? Good? Yes. Father? Yes. Uh, did you see any beautiful girls on the street today? Uh, yes. How are they looking? Blonde or uh, black or Asian? Yes. Uh, yeah, you know I prefer Asian, you know? Yes. Yeah, like I always do. All those little uh, black eyes and tiny little... Ah, uh... uh, yes. Fantastic. Okay, listen. I do this for you without any problem, you know, like friends, okay? Well, thank you, Mr. Bugu. But, uh, I need something in return for this, okay? Uh, yes. Okay, it is like this. Yeah, I got one. Well, can I have it? What do you want it for? Why? Well, not for me. Ah, oh, it's for a friend. Friend, yeah, yeah, I know the routine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah I can, uh, I can let you have it if, uh, if you do something for me. I said fashion, you got it. Louder, louder fashion. Faster, faster fashion. Brilliant. The louder you go, the more listeners I get. This is brilliant. Oh, brilliant. I, I don't think you quite got the hang of this podcasting thing, friend. No, no, no. Do you think I need some drums? I need a drum track on here. Uh, no, I, I think you need to talk to your listeners. Talk to them? Yeah. Oh. Nah. I'm not done with that sound of What about a trombone? Ah, uh, hello. Is, uh, is Mr. Magoo here? No, he's out. Oh, I, I see. Uh, I was wondering if he, uh, if he had fixed my fish. Your fish? Uh, well, it's for one of my clients. Oh, here. How many smells? Uh, Mr. Magoo uh, wanted me to get him this. What is this? Mr. Magoo wanted this? Well, yes, uh, I'm sorry. I don't exactly know what it is. It's a gynocom for looking at females inside. 
your trust camera. Oh, I see you. Terribly sorry. Get out, dirty man. Thank you for the fish. Bye bye. <laughs> well, not much protective work for me today, but plenty of negotiating, bargaining, and bartering. Important skills for detectives and podcasters alike. I'm sure you'll agree. Funny, I don't even know what this fish actually is supposed to do in order to know whether it's fixed or not. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Geek News Center podcast. My name is Todd Cochran. I'm your host. And as always, hey, one of our long-term subscribers, hey, thanks for staying subscribed. Anyway, the um, the thank you for watching. And, uh, and until next time, candy from historic I'll Island see you next time. Hawaii. Thank you. And I tell Goodbye. You what, Ford Island is just uh, a buzz of construction. They have bulldozers, backhoes, cranes, you name it, earth-moving equipment. It's uh, quite the hubbub of construction.